hello everybody welcome back to another video today i'm doing a set inspired by v nailed it if you haven't seen her youtube go and check her out her work is absolutely lovely i'll link her um channel in the description box below but yeah let's get into it so today i've got danny back for a full set so i've already gone in and done my prep work and applied my forms and now i'm just going in with glitter bells glass slippers and just creating my extension i'm doing this quite thin because i'm not going to file on top of this or anything we're just going to go straight in once that's set with the colored acrylic so just a nice thin base layer of course i'm using my cjp liz guild brush and the forms are the nail nail forms i fell in love with this set oh my god they are beautiful so when you're doing your base layer, you want to make sure that you keep it nice and thin and use your belly of your brush to pat that up to create the extension and then the sides of the brush to push that into shape. You want to try and keep it as neat as possible just to save you on filing time. Um, I'm not the best at sculpting. I would never say I am because I am 100% not. <laughs> um, but I have just, I fell in love with sculpting. Over the last couple of months, I can't remember the last time I did a set using tips. I just find with sculpting, you just get a better shape, better fit to the nail, and they just last better as well. There's no popping off, which I love. Um, so yeah, I just went in and did the base on all of them, and now I'm going to go in with my colours. So I am using Glam and Glitz. So the pink one is called Ice Cream Pop. The yellow is called Karen and the orange, I don't know, so I'll leave that in the description box for you. <laughs> I'm not sure what the orange one is called, but I'll leave that in the description box. Um, and all I do is apply really wet beads, small beads, um, one colour at a time on to the free edge of the nail and then use the tip of my brush to sort of marble those into one another. And then... Where the colours meet the natural nail plate, I just sort of fade them out a little bit, just so that when we apply our cover pink, we're not going to see a harsh line through um, the cover pink. So do make sure that you create sort of a, a blend, as if you are ombre in these colours down to the cuticle area. And then also when you're marbling, you want to make sure that you pat the colours and don't swipe at the colours or else you just lose your marble. Work nice and wet with these beads as well. They just blend into one another. Glam and Glitz is quite a wet system anyway. Um, but when you're doing a marble now, you do need to work a little bit wetter. And you can just keep adding um, each colour all of these obviously are going to be a different marble, which I find just really, really cool. So I just go in and do that to all of the nails. I'm really sorry that I've been a little bit, um, just not really been uploaded or anything. I have got something coming up and I cannot wait to be able to share it with you all. Um, it's something so exciting, something I've wanted for such a long time. And there's going to be so many videos coming up and I just cannot wait. I really, really want to be able to tell you all, but until everything's finalised, I can't say a word. But yeah, I'm very excited. 2020 is looking to be a promising year for me and I'm just so, so excited. Cannot wait.
So once I'd finished applying the marble to each nail, I'm then going to go back in to the pinky and I'm going to be using Rose Glow from Nail Nails. And I take a small bead, apply that to the cuticle area and then I drag that up over the marble and then I'm going in here with rose pink I think that's what it's called I'm pretty sure that's what it's called I will double check and leave it in the description box but I'm sure that's what it's called um and I apply the rose pink over the top of the entire nail and I just find that when you do this um it really brings everything together and creates a really nice blend um so yeah, I just go in just with a really small bead of that. And then I will let that set before going on to encapsulating these nails with clear acrylic. Again, I'm going to go back to the pinky and this time I'm going to encapsulate using clear. I'm using the glass slippers from Glitter Bells and just encapsulating that whole nail. If you don't encapsulate this, when you file, you'll just file away your ombre and also your marble. So please make sure you encapsulate using clear. Then once these had fully set, I then went in with my usual filing routine. Um, I didn't film it. Um, just because I do have a few videos with it on. If you'd rather I kept my filing in, let me um, know in the comments below. Um, but this time I didn't leave it in. So I just went in with my 100 grit nail file. I didn't use an e-file for this set because I found that they weren't too bulky. And just refined the shape of that nail, made sure the cuticle area was nice and flush, then went over with a buffing block got rid of the dust and now is my favorite part and I think it's any tech's favorite part top coating so for my top coat of course I'm using the nail lounge collections ultimate top gloss this is my favorite top coat ever and I'm just going to go in and top coat all of those nails and then we're going to cure that for one minute under led if you're using uv don't forget you need to top coat for two minutes no you don't need to top coat for two minutes what am I on about um, you need to cure for two minutes, not top coat for two minutes. You can top coat for two minutes if you want, but um, yeah, <laughs> you're going to cure it for two minutes if you're using UV. Then once that is fully cured, I'm going to bring my client's hand out of the lamp. And before going in with cuticle oil, I do allow them to cool down for a minute. And this just helps to prevent the nails from getting dull from the cuticle oil. So after a minute, I'll go in with my cuticle oil and that is the finished look. I am obsessed with this set of nails. I just think they're so beautiful, so different. I love that each nail is different as well with the marble. I just love them. So 
Don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And keep a look out on my channel for my big reveal of my big news. I'm so excited. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.